The payout from being signed to a professional sports team can be huge. Many athletes receive signing bonuses that are more than what most Americans make in a year. Athletes in solo sports, such as golf and tennis, also score huge earnings on their first big tournament win. Some athletes splurge with their first big paycheck, buying fancy cars, homes and other luxuries, while others are more conservative, using it to buy fast food or a celebratory keg. Take a look to see just how these people spent their first big paycheck. Patrick Mahomes, a baseball team. Kansas City quarterback Patrick Mahomes made headlines in early July for signing a record 10-year deal worth up to $503 million. For anyone who asked, what does someone even do with that kind of money? Now you have your answer. On July 28, it was announced that Mahomes had become part owner of the Kansas City Royals. Mahomes' father and grandfather both spent many years competing in the MLB, perhaps contributing to his decision to take on an ownership role. I'm honored to become a part owner of the Kansas City Royals. Mahomes said to Yahoo Sports. I love this city and the people of this great town. This opportunity allows me to deepen my roots in this community, which is something I'm excited to do. LeBron James, Amusement Park Tickets NBA great LeBron James scored his first big endorsement deal with Nike in 2003. Chris Dennis, James' former PR manager, told ESPN that James put most of that money in the bank. After I hand-delivered it to him, LeBron took that multi-million dollar Nike check deposited it and came out with maybe $2,000 in cash, Dennis said. He never spent or indulged in a frivolous manner when the money came. He did take his closest friend to an amusement park but didn't immediately purchase any new cars or homes. Nate Burleson, Fake Bling Former NFL wide receiver Nate Burleson didn't want to blow his first big paycheck on over-the-top jewelry. So instead, he bought costume jewelry that looked like the real thing. He told NFL.com. I bought an Escalade a fake watch and a fake chain. In my mind, I thought no one is going to question if they were real because I was an NFL player and gave my parents money to help with bills, he told the site. Even though Burleson, who has been a co-host of CBS Mornings since September 2021, made relatively responsibly buying decisions, he still has some regrets. Looking back, I wish I would have bought a more fuel-efficient vehicle and a home, he said. Jeremy Hill, a giant back tattoo. Jeremy Hill used his first big NFL paycheck to commemorate his time playing college football at LSU with a giant back tattoo of Tiger Stadium, the score reported. If you gun go hard why not go the hardest? Hill tweeted about his new body art. A second round draft pick of the Cincinnati Bengals in 2014. He was out of football in 28. Harrison Barnes, a mattress. Harrison Barnes of the Sacramento Kings used his $2.8 million rookie salary to buy a really nice bet. He told CNBC Make It. For me, growing up, really having a nice bed was something that I always wanted, the 2012 NBA draft pick told the site. I definitely tried out every bed in the mattress store. Usually, whatever store I walked in, I'm buying the cheapest thing possible, if that. So to be able to go into a mattress store and say, I'm going to choose the bed I want to sleep on and choose one of the nicer ones. That was pretty cool. Joe Flacco. McDonald's. For a time when he played with the Baltimore Ravens, quarterback Joe Flacco was the highest paid player in the history of the NFL with an average salary of $22.1 million per season, ESPN reported. But after he signed his record-breaking contract, he was spotted pulling up to a McDonald's drive through Everything I need I already had, and everything I want, if I really want it, I can go get it. But there's nothing I really want. He told CBS Sports. I don't need a $110,000 car or anything like that. I mean, I like that four-door Porsche. I like to say I'm going to go buy that. But do I really need it? A year ago I said, if I ever sign a big deal I'm going to get that Porsche. But I didn't. Flacco now plays for the New York Jets. Venus Williams. Nothing. An all-time tennis great. Venus Williams won the first of her seven Grand Slam titles at Wimbledon in 2000. Earning her first huge paycheck. 430,000 British pounds. That was worth about $662,000 then. And it went right into the bank, she told CNBC Make It. I just didn't want to become a statistic, or one of those athletes that had it all and then in the end had nothing. Williams said. That was always in the back of my mind, so it made me want to be more realistic with how I spent money. Shaquille O'Neal, three Mercedes Benzes. When Shaquille O'Neal was 20, he signed a $1 million endorsement deal with a trading card company, and the NBA star wasted no time spending that cash. O'Neal told Business Insider that as soon as he got the deal, 
He opened up a checking account and went straight to a Mercedes-Benz dealer. He ended up buying three cars, two $150,000 cars for himself and his father, and a $100,000 car for his mother. I was just writing checks, he said. I was buying TVs. I was just buying stuff I didn't even need. So after that, I said, you know what? I need to get me a business manager. Since 2011, he's been a studio analyst for Turner Sports. Colin Kiepernick gave it to charity. Colin Kiepernick gave one of his first paychecks from the San Francisco 49ers to his adoptive parents and asked them to donate it to a charitable cause for children with heart issues. Mercury News reported. Chris Paul, a shopping spree for his friends. In 2005, Chris Paul, who was then a sophomore at Wake Forest, declared for the NBA draft and got a $25,000 advance from his agency. I took my girlfriend, my best friend his girlfriend. We went to a mall and we went into a couple stores and I was like, just get something, Paul told CNBC Make It. No feeling like it. Now 37, Paul is entering the second year of a four-year, $120 million deal with the Phoenix Suns. Ryan Riddle, $179 coffee table. Former NFL player Ryan Riddle received a $35,000 signing bonus when he signed with the Oakland Raiders in 2005, which was the biggest paycheck he had ever received up to that point, he wrote in a post for the Bleacher Report. Riddle used that paycheck to pay his agent his fee as well as to pay back a $12,000 loan that had been used to cover his per-draft living expenses. He said training camp kept him too busy to really splurge, but he did make one purchase for himself. I did find time during one of our only days off in training camp to visit a furniture store with my girlfriend at the time, Riddle said. We ended up buying a glass top coffee table for my one bedroom apartment for about $179. Marcus Smart, a house for his mom. Marcus Smart told his mother that he would buy her a house if he made it to the NBA and made good on his promise when he was signed to the Boston Celtics. Mass Live reported, It's probably one of the biggest accomplishments as a young man, is to give your mom what she always wanted, and to take care of her, especially after she takes care of you all those years, and to make her happy. He told the sight of buying a house for his mom in the Dallas suburbs. It's a blessing. I thank God every day for the opportunity to be able to do something like that.